Find the magnitude, direction, and line of action of the resultant of this system of forces. So what we've got here is a system of forces. We've got four newtons and six newtons acting upwards, and then uh, eight newtons, five newtons, and five newtons acting downwards. So to find the resultant force, if we resolve vertically, we have uh, four newtons acting upwards, take up upwards to be positive, six newtons acting uh, upwards, but acting downwards we've got eight newtons, so we'll subtract that, and then we'll subtract five newtons, and then subtract that five newtons, and then if we do four plus six, minus eight, minus five, minus five, we're going to get that R is minus eight newtons. Now the minus sign means it's acting downwards, and it will be eight newtons downwards. And we want to know where do we, does this actually force need to be applied as the resultant of, of this system of forces. So the resultant is 8 newtons acting downwards, the minus sign means downwards. If we sum up the moments of the original forces from a point, we'll just say B for the moment, this point here, but you could choose A or we could choose somewhere else. Now anticlockwise we've got uh, 8 newtons times the length of the uh, length away from uh, B, so it's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6, so it's going to be 8 times 6, plus 5 newtons times 2 plus 2 times 4. Now, we don't have to worry about this one because it's got no distance from B, and therefore going in the uh, clockwise direction, so we're going to have the 4 newtons, times 2 plus 2 plus 1, which is 5, so four, minus 4 times 5, and then this 6 newton 1, which is going to be 2 times 6 newtons, 6 newtons times 2. Now, if we work that out, we're going to get 36 newton meters. So the total moment of these forces. So this resultant must be the same as 36 newton meters. So the resultant, 8 newton uh, 8 newton force must have the same moment of 36 newton meters. So let x be the distance from b. We'd take say from b because we summed up the moments from point b. So therefore we say 8x is equal to 36 and therefore x is equal to 4.5 meters. So the 8 meter force will be 4.5 meters from b or 1.5 from a and it will be acting downwards. Therefore, the 8 newton force is acting downwards 4.5 metres to the left of B or 1.5 metres to the right of A. So, if we just ignore that these are forces aren't here, this is the resultant force, which is 1.5 metres from and then 4.5 metres, and this is the resultant force and its position and line of action. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.